What's going on everyone? So I've been meaning to make this video for a while, but if you've watched my last video and you are more up to date with what I do on Instagram, that'll be linked down below if you want to check out my Instagram as well. You'll know that I was away and I was working on a vlog. That vlog is now done. I haven't put it out yet though, but I will put it out soon. That'll also be linked below if you want to check it out. With all of that being said, let's just get straight into the video. This will be the final part of my series on how to get the legendary items, unless of course new legendary items do get released in the future. So all of that though, we're going to get straight into this. So we're going to start with the helm and then moving to the cannons and the capstan. Now there's three different things you have to do to get all of these. So starting off with the legendary wheel, what you need to do to achieve that is complete 30 Athena voyages. Now you don't have to go through the entire Athena voyage, you just need to collect the final chest. So if you do find yourself joining a friend's game who's almost finished in Athena's voyage, then the completion little screen that comes down your screen shows up while you're in there. That will count as one voyage completed. Of course, you're going to need to find some people who will be keen to let you do that. And if you don't have any resources for that, what you can do is go down to the Discord. There's a looking for option there, and I'm sure people will be able to help you. Moving on now, though, to the Pirate Legend Cannons. This one isn't as hard, but it does take a lot of time. What you need to do is sink 500 skeleton ships. Now, I haven't done this commendation at all. I'm not even close to finishing it. I think I'm around halfway. But the most effective way of doing that is, of course, going out of your way to find the skeleton ships. Every time you do see that cloud on the sky of skeleton ships, each ship you kill will count as one. So that could be a really effective way to grind and farm that. Of course, you will need to either serve a jump or just wait around until they respawn because there is a time delay between them. Now, this will also count with the random skeleton ships that do appear on you and that you do find out in the world. So if you take your time out of your day to do take them out, that could help if you're going for this grind specifically. Now, moving on to the capstan. This one, of course, is one of the hardest and most time consuming. Probably not the hardest, just time consuming. But it can be cheesed if you do leave your Xbox while you're doing this, but I don't recommend that. But you can if you really want to. What you need to do to get that is sail 1,000 nautical miles on an Athena's voyage. The catch to this is you have to have an Athena's voyage active on your mission table. None of your miles will count at all if you're not on an active voyage. What I originally started doing when I was going for this grind is every time I'd be out either looking to kill some ships or smashing out some forts, I'd always have an Athena's voyage ready on the mission table to go. But what I've been finding myself doing a lot lately, and this is working quite well for me, is every time I jump off to an island when I'm doing an Athena speed run, I'd keep my ship moving, but in a completely opposite direction that has no obstacles. Of course, that can be a little bit hard, but if you can manage to find a small section without any sort of rocks or islands, what you can do is leave your ship at half mast. Not only will this keep your ship moving while you're completing a mission, it'll also give you the chance to go back and sail a couple extra miles when you're doing the Athena's voyage. Of course, you don't lose too much time in this because you are doing a speed run of the Athena's voyage, and usually it balances out to around the same time it would take if you're doing a full voyage. Of course, these are just the methods that I've been using that work extremely well for me. If you do have any others though, I'd love to read them down in the comment section. So that has pretty much been the video. I'm just going to take a couple seconds now just to talk about some things I'm doing with the channel. You don't have to watch that if you don't want to, so feel free to leave now. So as I'm sure you know, this channel has been heavily based around Sea of Thieves, and without a doubt, all of my fame has come from this game, and I'm forever grateful for that. And at risk of being stuck into only uploading Sea of Thieves videos, I'm going to start branching out into other games. Of course, these aren't going to interfere with my Sea of Thieves uploads, they're going to stay. Just I'm going to be working double time, so it won't affect you guys at all. So if you have any games you'd love me to play, feel free to put them down in the comments, but I'm really keen on the division that's coming up. I feel like I'm going to be making a lot of videos regarding that. Of course, as I said, it's not going to interfere with Sea of Thieves at all, and I am forever grateful for all the chances and abilities Sea of Thieves has given me. I'll never ever find myself taking that for granted. And I would like to extend my thanks to everyone who supported this channel. You guys made it possible for me to go interstate and experience a festival that I've been wanting to go to for a long time. So I do mean this from every part of me. Thank you guys so much for your support, and it's just absolutely mind-blowing. Of course, I've got footage of that. That'll be up on the vlog channel. Well, it's not really a vlog channel because I can't vlog, but it'll be up on my real life channel. So that'll be up as soon as I've got that all finished. So at risk of boring you guys anymore, that's been the entire video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.